Hello everyone, my name is Sinead Jones and this is KNKY, which stands for Know the New Kinky You. I am your resident certified sex coach and my job is to help people, couples, individuals, just with general questions, things that perhaps might be bothering you about your sex life, ways to make it better. Uh, I use these forms to kind of talk about certain things that come up about sex and sexuality and hopefully the information is something that you find useful. You know, I you can follow me across all social media platforms at D-O-Y-O-U-K-N-K-Y. So, you know, primarily on Instagram, but I also have Facebook and Twitter. And please feel free to visit the website at www.doyouknky.com for more information. So these videos, this is a part of a three-part series about sexual health. And when I'm talking about sexual health, I don't necessarily mean sexual health in regards to STIs or erectile dysfunction. I've said this in other videos as part of this series. What I'm talking about are things that can perhaps be misconceptions that, you know, we just don't talk about. So tonight's conversation is really about blue balls and what it means to have blue balls, get blue balls, and the impacts of blue balls on your life. So, you know, blue balls was one of those things that as a young adult coming up, I, when I heard oh, people, not necessarily myself, but myself and others, oh, I have blue balls, or if I, if I don't come right now, I'm going to I have blue balls, you're going to give me blue balls. And I know I've said blue balls about 5,000 times. The, the point of the story is that although it's painful for guys, it's not life-threatening. It's not as serious as some men make it seem. So don't get me wrong. Although it's not the end of the world, blue ball does have a medical name, which is epididymal hypertension or EH. It's painful, but it's not serious. It happens when a man is sexually aroused and has an erection without ejaculation. So the reason why they're actually called blue balls is because of a bluish hue that the testicles can get. And that's because, you know, blood only turns red when it's exposed to oxygen. So in your body, it still has a bluish tint. So again, you see that blue hue around the testicles. There are some main symptoms that will happen when you have this condition. It will be pain, discomfort, heaviness, and aching, as, as well as the, the blue tent. So you might ask yourself, why does this happen? And for those of you who have experienced it, you know, or maybe didn't even recognize, you know, what it actually was, it's because... You know, you're in a sexual situation where you're anticipating something that doesn't happen, but you're already sexually aroused. So when that blood flow goes towards your penis and makes you erect, and the blood flow also goes towards your testicles and they get bigger and heavier. So when that flow is in your body too long without being released, it can cause pain and discomfort in men. So if you experience it only when you're aroused, it's likely EH. If you experience it on a regular basis, like if you walk around with a ache and you're not sexually aroused, there's that's something that you should go to your urologist and talk about. And you know, I know a lot of guys don't want to go to the doctor for various reasons, but that is your your best place to go, your best place to start. So again, EH doesn't typically require medical treatment. So if you feel excessive pain or if it's disrupting your sex life, go see your doctor. Uh, if your EH is, a, is a, not a medical condition, perhaps it's a mental condition, you might need to go see a sex therapist, which I'm not. 
Uh, but if you can rule out both of those things and you still have an issue, then you could probably come talk to someone like me who is a certified sex coach uh, and, and a member of the World Association of Sex Coaches. So, you know, the Internet makes us close. So this is not something that where you have to be in my area to, to work with me. So just keep that in mind. So how do you treat blue balls? You know, because it's not a medical condition, there's not a whole lot of research on it, but there's some pretty common sense things that we can do. The first and foremost thing that you can do is to masturbate, to relieve the pressure. Now, depending on the situation that you're in, you may be able to accomplish this in front of your partner because, again, imagine yourself in a sexual situation where you're with somebody and perhaps something changed and what you thought was a yes is now a no. Now, if you do decide to masturbate and she's in your presence, make sure that you get her permission to do it first. Uh, in front of her or, you know, excuse yourself and, and take care of it. You can also take a cold shower because, you know, you're changing your, your body temperature and reducing it to something that is lower and, and less excited than you are currently. You can uh, think about something else that's non-sexual. You know, you can just take your mind off of it and then the, the pressure and the swelling will eventually go down. You can exercise. Uh, you can also listen to music or uh, watch TV. Do something to distract your mind from where you are in that sexual state. That's something that you can do. So we know that blue balls is typically associated with men, but I'm not sure if you knew this or not. Women can also experience blue balls. Now, because we don't have testicles, it's not really balls, it would be our vulva, you know, but when women are sexually aroused and we don't get that release that we are looking for, we can experience pain. So, vasoconstriction is the process by which blood flows to the genitals. So the same thing we talked about with men happens to women. Men get hard, they get erect, but women also get hard. Our blood flows to our vulva, our uterus, our ovaries. So we, we feel the same things in our genitals. So when that sexual arousal happens and we don't orgasm, we get the blue vulva. So Although the color of our vulva does not change, we experience it in a very similar way. So one example for females is that if you are anticipating a good sexual session and you start to receive oral sex and that oral sex is not gratifying, then it could actually become painful. And so, you know, the clitoris is very, very sensitive. So if you are aroused but you don't have that opportunity to release in the way that you were anticipating you can get blue vulva again there's little scientific research done on this phenomenon so what we need to understand is that and in a lot of ways it's because for women in general things that apply to us are not as well documented as they are for men. And I think that's because we are less vocal about what we go through. We just kind of say, fuck it, we'll deal with it. And, you know, it's fine. But that shouldn't be the case because our needs, our wants, our, our health is just as important as men. So if you are experiencing any pain or if you're going through this, especially if you feel like there is something more to it than just, you know, a single incident where you are, it's an isolated event. If you feel like it's more than just an isolated event, also please go to your doctor and have that conversation. The cure for EH for women is the same for men. You have to take your mind off of it. You have to either manually release yourself, masturbate, or take your mind off of it doing something else. Drink a glass of wine, uh, 
take a shower, do something to, to, to move your physical state, your mental state out of that place that you are currently in. So, again... Hopefully you found this information helpful. Um, if you have things that you want me to talk about, different topics that you want more information on, please feel free to send me a message. You can uh, leave a comment in the box below or you can send me a DM. You can find me across all social media platforms at D-O-Y-O-U-K-N-K-Y. Uh, visit my website. It's the same thing, www.doyouk.com. D-O-Y-O-U-K-N-K-Y, which stands for Do You Know the New Kinky You? I am Shanae Jones, your resident sex coach, and thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I will see you again soon.